Hi, this is Martine LaDuc at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem at Brooker Creek Preserve. This is Life Science at a Social Distance. Hi. In our last episode, we talked about gopher tortoise and we focused on a female. This time we have a male gopher tortoise and we're going to meet with Dr. Jeff and he's going to talk about the difference between the male and female gopher tortoise and the tortoise's role in seed dispersal. So since the public isn't allowed to pick them up to see if it's a male or a female, mm -hmm. you can also tell by this scute under their chin, is that right? That's right. Yeah, this scute under their chin, this is called the guler scoot. And so it forms if he sticks his head in a little bit. It's what's known as our guler projection or the guler horn. The males actually use that when they combat with each other. So sometimes you'll see them or even sometimes you'll hear them. They, they do, it's just like jousting. That's how we refer to it in the tortoise world. They joust, they ran, run into each other really quick and they use this to try to like basically overpower each other. They, they seem to be territorial most likely for females. Okay. Um, and whether the females are, you know, perceiving what's happening, if they're sitting there watching it or if it's just the male that gets, that loses the combat if he just disappears knowing that he lost, then males don't tend to get that deep furrow as much as females do, and I think it's because the concavity itself compensates for it. Okay. But he's highly concave. So the male that. is concaved and yeah. the female's flat. That's right. And that helps them to balance on the female exactly. when they're mating, right? Exactly. Okay. And he's actually concave kind of in both directions. And so they are important for seed dispersal. Yeah. Right? Definitely. So they eat a lot of seeds and then they poop them out somewhere else and disperse the seeds for us. That's right. There's been a few studies done looking at the effects of even just turning over the soil and what that has, you know, the impacts that has for this ecosystem. So um, the longleaf pine ecosystem where they're evolved is a very poor quality acidic soil, which is okay. That's the natural state of things that it's poor quality and, and highly acidic. But then occasionally it's important to have some animals kind of turn that soil over. Okay. And so the local environment the tortoise produces actually turns out to be really good for the local plants, okay. where it makes uh, the soil quality a little bit better. They're bringing up nutrients from deep in the ground that actually help to kind of fertilize the soil. That's so we were talking earlier about how gopher tortoise disperse seeds. And Dr. Jeff here has some real gopher tortoise poop right in his hands, uh, which I think you would call scat rather That's than right. poop. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, so these are gopher tortoise scat samples um, because they mainly eat grass it's actually as you know unsettling as it may be to hold a, a scat sample this is really hardly more than a, a ball of, of straw mm. um, except for there are oftentimes seeds in it so we have one tortoise here at the preserve we call hog plum because she lives under this tree that produces an edible fruit called a hog plum okay. and it turns out tortoises are really good dispersers of hog plum seeds um, so we see a lot of hog plum trees growing around where tortoises hang out. So this is like a, a really great little seed packet because it has mm -hmm. fertilizer, moisture, and seeds all in one, huh? Yep, absolutely. Great. So if we didn't have gopher tortoise to disperse all these seeds, this might just be a really sandy habitat and wouldn't have much vegetation. Exactly. And then the fact that the tortoises deposit these scat samples near their burrow, again, the burrow is an area where the sand has been turned over, so it turns out to be the best quality sand around here too. So they give a little fertilizer, they give the seed, and then they yeah, kind of help curate that. Nice. So. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed our series on the gopher tortoise. You can watch all our episodes of Life Science at a Social Distance on YouTube or at the Pinellas County School website. We'll see you next time.